the digital root of a number the digital root number is calculated by adding up all the digits of that number until a single digit from 1 to 9 is left the single digit is defined as the digital root of the relevant number ready for example we we'll find the digital root of 230 in order to get the digital root of 230 we have to add the digits of 230 which are 2 plus 1 plus 3 that is 6 so 6 is the digital root of 230 and the example 504 That is five plus zero plus four. That is nine. So nine is the digital root of five hundred and four. Likewise, another example, fifty-seven. So in order to find the digital root of fifty-seven, we have to add the digits five plus seven, which will give twelve. But digital root is a single number, so. further we have to add it again so 1 plus 2 that is 3 so 3 is the digital root of 57 likewise and the example 49 4 plus 9 that is 13 further 1 plus 3 that is 4 so 4 is the digital root of 49 now we are going to check whether a number is divisible by 9 or not by using the idea of digital root let's start with small example 80 first we'll find out the digital root of 18 that is 1 plus 8 Will give you nine. So if the digital root is divisible by nine, definitely this number also will be divided by nine without any remainders. As you know, eighteen divided by nine will give you two. So eighteen is divisible by nine. Likewise, and the example forty-five. So let's find the digital root of forty-five, which is. Four plus five, that is nine. So nine is divisible by nine. So definitely, this forty-five also will be divided by nine without any remainder. So forty-five is divisible by nine. And the example one hundred and fifty-three. So let's find the digital root of this number. That is one plus five. Plus three, that is nine. So again, nine is divisible by nine. So one hundred and fifty-three also will be divided by nine without any remainders. So one hundred and fifty-three also divisible by nine. As a conclusion, I can say if the digital root is divisible by nine, then the whole numbers also can be divided by nine. Now we are going to check whether a number is divisible by three or not by using the idea of digital root. So let's start with the small examples. So that is fifty. So find out the digital root of fifty. That is one plus five. That will give you six. So if the digital root is divisible by three, then This fifteen also will be divided by three without any remainders. As you know, six can be divided by three, so fifteen also will be divided by three without any remainders. So fifteen is divisible by three. Another example, twenty-four. So first, we'll find out the digital root that is two plus four. 
which is 6. So 6 is divisible by 3. So 24 also divisible by 3. Another example, 210. So let's find out the digital root of this. That is 2 plus 1 plus 0. That is 3. So 3 is divisible by 3. So 210 also divisible by 3. So as a conclusion, I can say that if the digital root is divisible by 3, then these whole numbers also divisible by 3. Now, you can keep on trying these and find out whether the number is divisible by 9 or not or it's divisible by 3 or not by using the idea of digital root.